Good morning. It is 20 past 7. Uh, I've been awake since about 6. And it was blooming freezing last night. Not even joking. I mean, it's not as cold as as England at night, probably, but it was like 10 degrees, 8, 9, 10 degrees or something, because I had two duvets on, and I was lying down like this. It was really cold. My feet are still cold. It's still cold in here now. Like, all the stuff which is metal is cold. Like, this is freezing. So it's definitely quite cold. It's the highest city in Sri Lanka here, which is why it's so cold. It's crazy how much the temperature changes here. This is my view from my lovely looking window here, if you can see. There's a little mountain. Right there. Well, it's actually quite a big mountain. I'm going to try and I'm going to go climb that. I think I think that's the one. Single tree mountain. But first of all, I'll go find me some papaya and get myself a little breakfast on. Oh, it's a lush morning. So nice to have the sun on my face and feet. Though I've got cold feet. It's the first time I've had cold feet the whole time I've been in Sri Lanka. It's a really odd experience. It's crazy how much the temperature changes here. I've been, I've only travelled like maybe a hundred miles from where I was staying before, but the temperatures changed so much. I guess Fenton. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just like microclimate. It's because it's so hilly. I'm going to go somewhere else today after I've done this walk in the mountain called Candy, but just the other side of that, um, where the temperature is going to be completely different again. So hopefully I'll be able to catch that in the same clip. Right, let's find some papaya. Breakfast is served. Two papaya, one pound seventy-five for both. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive. It's still, I didn't really haggle much. I just kind of gave him, had a price in mind. That's a tip. Have a price in mind of what you want to pay before you go somewhere. Like, don't just go there and get. I mean, obviously, when you first arrive somewhere, you don't know the prices. But once you know, have an idea of how much you want to pay before you go. I was thinking, yeah, between three and four hundred. These papaya look pretty good ready to eat, you know, convenience food. No worries, 350 rupees. Hello. No problem. Hello. The tuk-tuk van. Brand new tuk-tuks. Guys, I can't get over the temperature difference here. It's like, it's about 12 degrees right now, which is really weird for me because I've been used to being able to walk around in board shorts any time of day or night. No worries. Rain, shine. But the closest thing I can describe this to is England in May. It's like an English spring summer. It's really weird. Like a really good one. So yeah, it's like England in the month of May. Weird. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and uh, eat these papaya now. Tea, anyone? <laughs> Absolutely everywhere. Basically this whole, this whole hill is a tea plantation. It's pretty nice so far. I kind of, I don't think I'm on the tourist route of Single Tree Mountain. By the way, it's a bit of a rip-off, isn't it? One Tree Hill, Single Tree Mountain. This is the view so far of Nuwara Elia. It's pretty nice. Warm enough to have my t-shirt off. I think it's probably about 18 degrees. It's quite nice. Picking tea. Someone's got to get that Lipton's to you. These are the people who do it. Hello. Hello. This is tea? Yeah. The smell? Yeah. yeah, this definitely isn't the uh, usual path up to one tree mountain, but single tree mountain, whatever it's called. But it's pretty funny. Felt a bit awkward actually just walking through the tea plantations while they're doing all their picking, but <laughs> this is quite hard with this broken rib or whatever it is Ooh, but yeah I got a photo with one of them and they were asking for money I was like ah didn't see that one coming should have done really now everyone's asking for photos <laughs> but uh no worries check out the view so far pretty nice it's pretty cool the path seems to disappear for quite a while and you're like, wait, is this even up track? And then it seems to reappear again. I want to reappear a bit right now. The breeze is getting up. I'm getting higher. There's all the tea pickers down there. 
let's soldier on up the steps. Yeah, this is a right pain in the ass with this chest. I can't breathe deeply, it just hurts. Ah! If I put my arms behind my back, I can breathe ah, a bit better, but yeah. Broken rib and flip-flops. Perfect for going up steep hills. Whew. Well, I made it to the summit, I think. Yeah, no, this is the summit. Nobody else in sight. I haven't seen it apart from the tea, tea pickers. I haven't seen anyone else on the whole way. It's pretty cool. Check it out. This is the top right here. I'll show you the other side in a minute. This is the view of Noir earlier in the mountains. It's pretty awesome. There's a reservoir there. There's a horse racing track down there. Great. And there's a big mountain over there with some cloud cover. There's loads of trees up here. I don't know what they're on about. Right, Whew. I'm gonna head down, get some bananas in me, maybe some dates, carb up, getting ready for another train, well, train, probably bus journey, towards Candy. I'm gonna go to a dry zone, the desert zone, which is pretty weird to think about right now. I feel like I'd have to fly there, but it's only gonna be like two hours away. Probably gonna take more like five though. Yo, oh, it's another place done. Rucksack's back on. Got my water bottle, fresh one. There's about four liters in there. About to hit the road, find a bus to Candy. Got some dates and those sesame sugar bullet roll things to keep me going on the journey. Nothing too water rich because there's no toilet on the bus. So, I have to hydrate up properly when I get back. Well, when I get to the next spot. Some form of uh, wedding thing, they dress like they're royalty. Some crown on them. This is King Fenton, I think. King Fenton and Queen Janet. So we're at a stop off. I don't know where. On the way, somewhere on the way to Candy. Picked up some pineapple. Slightly overpriced, but it is a long way away from. Um, well, I imagine where they go. 150 rupees for this, so 75p. Uh, not bad, all cut up. I think I've got to get back on the bus now because we're heading off to Candy. So, see you at the next stop. Finally arrived in Candy. Christ, I've got no idea what time it is, but that felt like hours. I'll have a look in a minute. I think it probably took about four hours or so. My bum's aching. Um, what are you? No, no. So, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet, but I'm going to sit down somewhere and get some food and water in and chill out and decide what I'm going to do rather than get panic into doing anything and uh, get tempted by someone else. Not tempted, but get swayed by a local. So I got a little bag of rambutans here. Kilo of rambutans. It's much of those. Nice hydrating fruit. After the drying dates and stuff. So difficult on the buses here. Like I said, they don't have toilets and I like to keep hydrated. So uh, I thought I'd go for these. No calories, but good taste and nice and hydrating. So important to uh, just take a moment and chill out. Because if if you're always rushing, and you'll make stupid decisions. <laughs> Everyone's loving the fact I'm filming. <laughs> um, so yeah, stupid decisions, silly decisions are made in a panicked state. So chill out, find somewhere to the side, sit down, get some rambutans down here, and decide what you're going to do. So I think first impressions of candy is pretty loud and noisy and busy here. So I'm going to move on. I know this is only the centre, but I want to go check out some temples. So I'm going to go to a place called Dambula, which is probably another like three hours on the bus. So I'm preparing myself for these round here. So I've arrived in Dambula. A little bit crazy here as well. There's a few quieter areas, which is where I'm headed. Down this way. Looking for a room again. It's getting a bit dark, which... I don't really like looking for rooms when it's getting dark because they get the sense that you're uh, under pressure to get a room, so they're going to charge more. I've got a room for 1,500 so far. That's my max price I'm going to pay. I want to see if I can get one for a thousand. So I'm having a little wander a bit further out of town. All right, let's see what I can find. All right, I found somewhere. There was a bit of a long-winded conversation with quite a few quite a few different people but I finally found something and it's actually really nice um, not that I really care what the room's like but 
There's actually two beds, so I've got a choice. I might just keep getting up and swapping beds to get my money's worth. <laughs> no, I think this is going to be my room for tonight. It's got air conditioning. I won't be using that. I'll be using that. So, 1,500 rupees I paid for this room. He wanted 2,000, but I said no. 1,500 is my final price. So, yeah, there I'm staying quite close to a temple called the Golden Temple. Um, but I'm not that close to food, which is quite annoying because I'm quite hungry. So I'm going to have a shower, put on my vegan t-shirt, represent a bit, and then go and find some rice and curry. Some rice and dal. Get the protein in to help heal my rib. Alright, I will show you a video of the rice and curry when it's here. Here we are. We've got the rice and curry. We've got the dal. Rice. And a potato curry. Just almost dropped it in my food. All vegan, of course. Don't even need to ask here. You just know if it's the vegetable curry, it's vegan. They just cook with coconut milk. No worries. Back at base. Oh, just chilling out. Travelling is... It's a long time spent on a bus today. Surprising how tiring doing nothing is. I feel more tired now than if I'd done like a 10k run or something. It's just a bit exhausting. It takes so much longer to get everywhere here than you would imagine as well. Because it's so hilly and the roads are so windy. I think I've come in total like 80 miles today and it's taken me about 7 hours. <laughs> 7 miles. No, seven hours for 80 miles, so it's a long way. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm just literally chilling out here. Coconut oiled up before I went out for the food. It's feeling good. It smells so good. I love coconut oiling up the skin. Oh, hydration for the skin. So yeah, I'm just chilling out here. Let the food go down in it. Maybe go for a little pre-bed poo. See, see what the bowels are feeling like. Hit the hay, and then tomorrow morning, probably get up maybe up seven or something like that. Get some bananas down me, and check out the Golden Temple. But that is another story. I will see you tomorrow.